SpaceX just shocked the world again. This time, not with a rocket, but with an upgraded spacesuit that could change space travel forever. Sleeker, smarter, and tougher than NASA's decades-old designs, it's proof that Elon Musk isn't just chasing Mars. He's redefining how humans survive beyond Earth. But what hidden tech makes this suit a true game changer? Let's dive right in. When SpaceX first unveiled its sleek all-white spacesuits, many dismissed them as too cinematic. But when they were actually used in orbit, something became clear. This wasn't just about style. It was about solving one of NASA's oldest, most expensive problems, keeping humans alive in the most hostile environment imaginable. And that's where the story gets interesting. For over half a century, NASA relied on a suit design that originated in the Apollo era the Extravehicular Mobility Unit, or EMU. It was impressive in the 1970s, but by today's standards, it's a technological fossil. Each one weighs nearly 280 pounds, costs around $60 million, and takes months of underwater training before astronauts can even move comfortably in it. But worse than its cost was its safety record. In 2013, astronaut Luca Parmitano nearly drowned when a cooling system failure caused water to flood his helmet during a spacewalk. That terrifying incident exposed a painful truth. NASA's spacesuit technology hadn't evolved much since the Cold War. Instead of starting fresh, NASA kept patching the same design, spending over $400 million just to maintain the old fleet. Their next-generation suits, still in development, are projected to cost $3.5 billion. That's the same amount SpaceX spends to build and launch dozens of Falcon 9 rockets. So the question almost asks itself, how did NASA, with billions in funding and decades of experience, fall behind a private company that didn't even exist when those suits were first made? The answer lies in culture. NASA is driven by process. SpaceX is driven by progress. Elon Musk's approach has always been brutally simple. Build, test, fail, learn, repeat. That mindset gave us reusable rockets, affordable access to orbit, and now a new generation of spacesuits built entirely in-house, faster, cheaper, and smarter than anything NASA has fielded in decades. The breakthrough came during the Polaris Dawn mission, when SpaceX astronauts performed the first ever private spacewalk using their own suits. They weren't perfect, far from it, but they worked, and that alone made history. After the mission, SpaceX engineers immediately began analyzing every piece of feedback, the crew reported three main challenges. The suits overcooled during shadow exposure. Mobility was limited. Every movement felt like pushing against pressure. Airflow during re-entry interfered with the Dragon Hatch system. Instead of excuses or committees, SpaceX went straight to work. They redesigned everything from the inside out. The new generation SpaceX suit is more than a redesign. It's a statement of engineering philosophy. It doesn't just protect astronauts, it adapts to them. 1. Smart Thermal Control The suit now maintains the astronaut's body temperature at a stable 37 degrees Celsius, automatically adjusting in real time to extreme changes between plus 120 degrees Celsius sunlight and minus 150 degrees Celsius shadow. Unlike NASA's heavy external life support backpacks, SpaceX integrated the thermal system directly into the torso layer, reducing bulk and improving reliability. 2. Freedom of movement. Inside the suit, new pressure bladders and flexible joints minimize resistance. Astronauts can bend, twist, and maneuver naturally. A huge leap from NASA's rigid bubble suit feel. As Jared Isaac Mann described it, it went from feeling like resistance training to feeling like freedom. Three, real-time system integration. Each SpaceX suit communicates directly with the Dragon capsule's onboard systems. If oxygen levels drop or thermal readings shift, the capsule automatically adjusts to stabilize conditions, a feedback loop NASA's current suits simply don't have. Even the visor received a major upgrade, a radiation-shielded polycarbonate layer coated with copper and indium tin oxide, providing crystal-clear vision while deflecting harmful solar radiation. Every part of the design serves one mission, keep humans safe, flexible, and efficient beyond Earth. It's easy to assume SpaceX just got lucky, but the truth runs deeper. 
NASA's structure is tied to politics and multi-decade contracts. Every change requires committees, approvals, and budget reviews. SpaceX, on the other hand, owns its workflow. Every component, from helmets to life support modules, is built, tested, and iterated in-house. That autonomy allows a level of innovation government programs can't match. SpaceX can test 10 prototypes in the time it takes NASA to schedule one review meeting. This speed, combined with Musk's obsession with functional beauty, led to something no government agency could produce. A suit that looks like science fiction, but works like science fact. Few people know this. The man who helped bring SpaceX's suits to life isn't an engineer. He's Jose Fernandez, the Hollywood designer behind superhero costumes like Batman and Iron Man. Musk personally recruited him to merge aesthetics with performance. At first, even NASA laughed at the idea, but it worked. The SpaceX suit didn't just look better, it performed better. It reminded the world that technology and design aren't enemies, they're partners. And while that may seem cosmetic, it had a powerful effect. Public interest in space exploded. Suddenly, space travel looked inspiring again. It looked human. Behind closed doors, NASA insiders are well aware of what's happening. Leaked internal reviews have admitted frustration that SpaceX is outpacing traditional processes. In one blunt remark, a veteran NASA engineer said, We perfected paperwork. They perfected progress. That statement sums up the culture clash. While NASA continues to manage legacy programs, SpaceX has become the default partner for nearly every major mission from ISS crew rotations to the upcoming lunar landing systems. And here's the irony. NASA now pays SpaceX to send astronauts into orbit, wearing SpaceX suits. The agency that once defined human spaceflight now relies on the company it inspired. The upgraded suits aren't just for PR. They're a critical piece of Musk's long-term strategy. Reusable rockets may get humanity to Mars, but space suits will decide if we survive there. Each new generation of SpaceX suit collects environmental data, optimizes air regulation, and improves CO2 scrubbing efficiency. Over time, these systems evolve toward autonomy, many spacecrafts wrapped around human bodies. That's the real endgame, to make every person their own life support capsule, not dependent on base stations or bulky modules, but free to move, explore, and build. If Starship is the vehicle for interplanetary travel, these suits are the armor that makes it possible. Together, they form a self-sustaining ecosystem, ship, capsule, suit, all communicating seamlessly through a shared network. It's a vision that turns science fiction into a working blueprint for the future. For NASA, this is more than competition. It's a wake-up call. The suits that once symbolized human advancement now represent stagnation. Meanwhile, SpaceX has redefined what innovation looks like. Fast, efficient, elegant, and accessible. The new SpaceX suits are proof that private innovation can outpace public institutions, not by cutting corners, but by cutting bureaucracy. Every astronaut who wears one is part of a quiet revolution. The moment private technology surpassed a government legacy that dominated for decades, and now the conversation has shifted. If SpaceX can solve a 50-year nightmare in less than five, what could they possibly achieve next? And this is exactly why SpaceX's new spacesuit isn't just a cool upgrade. It's a turning point. It shows that the future of space travel now belongs to those who move fast, think differently, and never stop improving. What this means is that humanity is one step closer to living and working safely beyond Earth. Not in theory, but in reality. And this is just the beginning. With Starship and future missions ahead, SpaceX is setting the pace for the next great chapter of human exploration. So what do you think? Will NASA adapt or will SpaceX define the next era of space travel? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Space Hub. And make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss the next breakthrough shaping our future among the stars. The moon race is heating up, and SpaceX just made a move that stunned both NASA and Blue Origin. 
While others are still drafting plans, Elon Musk's team is already rebuilding the entire Starship production system from the ground up, turning factories into megastructures that could mass-produce rockets like cars. But here's the real question. Are these big upgrades SpaceX's secret weapon to dominate the moon or a dangerous overreach? Let's dive right in. The modern space race isn't a peaceful contest of exploration anymore. It's a battle for dominance. NASA, Blue Origin, and SpaceX all want to claim the next great milestone, landing humans back on the moon. But as 2025 nears its end, only one company seems capable of turning that dream into reality. And it's moving faster than anyone expected. While NASA wrestles with budgets and delays, and Blue Origin fine-tunes prototypes behind closed doors, SpaceX has already changed the game. Instead of waiting for approval or applause, Elon Musk's team is doing what they do best. Building. Fast. And their latest project, G-I-G-A-B-A-Y, is something that even veteran engineers are calling a game-changer. On the surface, it's just another factory. But in reality, it's the foundation of SpaceX's next era. A facility so massive and advanced that it could rewrite how humanity builds and launches rockets. That's where the story begins. Down in Boca Chica, Texas, a new metallic giant is taking shape under the scorching desert sun. From a distance, it looks like another warehouse. Up close, it feels like standing at the center of a revolution. This is G-I-G-A-B-A-Y, the beating heart of SpaceX's 